design of the map has changed a little bit. So I had, you know, two fights there. I had Kitty and APOC, um, and then I jumped over to Path 7 and Section 2 to fight Shuri and Atuma. Um, so, you know, really going into it, let me go ahead and pull the first video up here. Um, and there we go. So it is now... Okay, so it is showing up there. Uh, it doesn't show on my screen. So this first fight, you know, you can see we have the combat deja vu prowess. So Kitty is going to gain a lot of prowess. Um, starting off the fight, my plan going in was to do light, medium, light, medium combos, um, you know, with the parry. Um, you know, this also has the insurance policy power, which is the new node, which is when you remove a prowess effect from Kitty, it's, she's going to gain a burst of 50% power. Um, wasn't sure exactly the interaction. I didn't take this path at all during the preseason. Um, and those that did typically used uh, one of the global attackers so that the power gain wasn't, you know, noticeable with the, with the withers that the global attackers get on there. So my plan for this one was I was going to, you know, use Iron Man. He's tanky in case, you know, something happened. He's incinerator immune in case I get hit with, you know, one of her specials or something like that. So, um, you know, that was kind of the plan going in. Uh, you'll see quickly that, you know, kind of changed plans after I threw my first special one. So anyway, uh, my team for the other fights is going to be, you know, bringing along Angela, who is a global attacker, and then also Shuri. So, you know, felt pretty comfortable using Iron Man. You know, I was originally signed Omega Sentinel, uh, asked if I could do Iron Man. I just like his tankiness, the fact that, you know, like I said, he is incinerate immune and he's got that, you know, oh crap, I've messed up heal, um, you know, that can heal roughly 66% of his health um, in case something goes wrong. So let's go ahead and take a, a, you know, a look at the first fight and see how it goes. Okay, and you know, typical war boosts. Um, boosted probably a little bit higher this war. I don't think I would have to boost quite this high in the future, but it was just one of those things. First war of the season. You know, I typically struggle early on in the seasons, like I said yesterday. So wanted to, to take a good look at it. And let me go ahead and mute my screen here so that that's not bleeding through. There we go. So, you know, you can see you started medium light, medium light. And this is kind of where I changed that. You could see the power gain that she got you know, when I was removing those prowess, it was a lot. So, you know, I just kind of went to the strategy of, you know, going to throw the special ones, going to try and throw them early enough um, and not really worry about the prowess too much. You know, so, you know, she doesn't have a big health pool, which is great. Um, you know, and you can see, you know, very little damage from, from those specials and, Fight finished really, really quick, you know, 45 seconds roughly, and she was down. No big issues there, you know, kind of had to change my plan going in a little bit, you know, still probably best if I would have done the light, medium, light, medium combos just to keep a little bit of prowess off of them. But all in all, you know, very pleased with the way that first fight went. Um, the next fight up on the list is... There we go, is APOC. Um, once again, kind of the same plan going into it. Uh, going to use Iron Man. Um, I think I tossed like a 6K heal into him just to top up that, that little bit of chip damage I took. Um, same plan. Fortunately for this, you know, the his prowess is capped at 2 uh, going into it. So those are his permanent prowess. Wasn't too concerned about the power gain. The interaction that I wasn't sure of was the aggression prowess and what happened when I hit him and those were removed, did that trigger the insurance policy? You know, so, you know, if I had to bait a special for a while, you know, was when I went to do that five hit combo, was he going to gain, you know, 50% of a bar of power every time, you know, I removed one of the aggression prowess, prowess effects from him. So, you know, went in a little concerned about that, but, um, you know, just really kind of, Wanted to take a look at it and see how it went. So let's go ahead and we can play through this one and, and see how this fight went for us. And good morning, Vital. How are you doing? Appreciate you stopping by. So, you know, really just going in, playing here once again. I wanted to get to a special one, remove those two prowess from them early. And then would be, you know, special two to get his charges built up. Um, there I tried to... Uh, 
to parry the beam portion of his special one and you know didn't work you know that's why i had the invulnerability boost on not going to try it again you know still trying to get the timing down on that the parry of a lot of different defenders uh special attacks so that i can get that pause on the armor up effect but you know with how tanky iron man is you can see you know i'm up at a full yellow bar you know even taking those couple hits that didn't get stopped by the invulnerability boost here it's time for the special two we get up over our armor cap so we get the you know the iron man's charges and now it's just time to bait out a couple specials toss a couple special ones and you know really at this point i am very very confident on this fight don't have any doubt that we're going to finish you know close to a full yellow bar you know and iron man's going to be in good shape so really pleased i brought him you know the the you know update to him was very very good probably one of the best champion updates that they've done a um, couple others rank up there high but you know overall you know very pleased with that fight as well um, so with that we're done with section one we do jump over to section two and this first fight up is going to be shuri um, the only tricky part on this node for the most part um, yeah i was there we go. So we're going to use Angela for it. Wanted to check the nodes out is the kind of make a stand and having to fight Shuri. You know, you can't really parry her um, because of the way her attacks are, unless you're using somebody like Angela, who has the ability to parry non-contact hits. So, you know, start off parry heavy, remove the protection. And from here, you know, you're going to kind of see that. That's all I'm going to do in this fight. You know, five hit combos, bait her special ones. I'm feel pretty confident and comfortable dexing out of the beam to be able to counter it. Um, you're going to see that I'll throw special ones just to keep knocking her down. You know, Angela's specials don't do a lot of damage. You know, unfortunately, I wish they would, you know, but her damage on her regular attacks ramps up so when she can get that three furies going. And you can see there, you know, 12k mediums, just going to throw another special to kind of refresh the, the furies and the armor up. Um, you know, going to heal up a little bit from the you know the chip damage i take from blocking her specials not trying to do anything you know not trying to dex out of them not trying to do anything that's going to get me hit um you know another parry heavy just really safe you know get my three furies back throw another special um here i think this is where it is i try it and counter the special one without a good dex on the beam nope must be the next one um and i get a couple hits but you know, that's why I threw the, uh, the Invuln boost on. Like I said, yeah, this is the one. I get parried right there. Um, you know, it happens. You know, fortunately for me, um, Angela did have, you know, five buffs on her. So she's not going to take any of the damage from the shock. It's just going to completely remove it. Um, so, you know, even with taking those couple hits, just going to go back to my plan now, which is going to be special one. She wants to be a little stingy here. So fight takes a little longer than what I'd like, but really just at this point, wanted to play it safe, wanted to get through it. Um, you know, don't have to use her again this war, so there's no potion risk involved. You know, my goal in every war fight is just to come through with full attack bonus. And, you know, that's kind of what I went to after, you know, that getting parried that time. So, and there we go. Um, a little longer, like I said, but all wrapped up and that one's in the books. So the last fight of the war is going to be, oops, let's go this way. There we go, is going to be Shuri versus Atuma. You know, goal coming in here, you know, he's got power creep. So, if, you know, any any debuff that he cleanses, he's going to gain some power. Um, you know, just goal coming in here. I'm not going to parry. I'm just going to let him hit into my block. I'll intercept. You know, want to get to the shocks on. Want to get to my special one so that I've got those guaranteed crits and then just kind of nuke him down as I've got the special one. So, you know, and the nice thing about this fight is he did throw his special ones pretty quick. Didn't have to do a lot of baiting. What I found in some battleground fights and all that is, you know, that it takes him some time to, you know, throw his specials from time to time he'll get stingy you know here's probably the worst you know and the most um baiting out that i had to do on it but you know 
pretty pretty safe fight. You know, the other thing I want to do is I want to keep his hydration charges down, which, you know, using Shuri does a good job. I don't have to worry about the kind of the thorns damage coming back from him because, you know, the non-contact hits from Shuri. And, you know, just going to continue the plan, bait special ones, throw my special, get the guaranteed crits, and just kind of wrap it up. So this should be the last special one. Here I know five hit combo is going to finish him, so I just bait out a heavy five hit combo or two hit combo, I guess there, and that wraps it up. So you know that first war, very nice. You know four quick, fairly easy fights, um, which I appreciate from my BG leaders. You know they know war's not my favorite, so you know just being able to have a quick, easy start to the war season really felt good. You know the first couple fights was a little concerned about. Um, just because I hadn't dealt with the interaction of the new nodes 